Hi, welcome back to Dental Basics. I'm Dr. Parvati Raghavan and we are going to learn what makes esters and amides different in terms of chemical structure, behavior, the way they break down in our body, etc. This is going to make it easy to remember them. Based on chemical structure, local anesthetics are classified as esters and amides. Example of esters are cocaine, benzocaine, tetracaine, procaine, and chloroprocaine. Examples of amides are lidocaine, prilocaine, bupivacaine, articaine, and procainamide. I'm going to limit this video to these few local anesthetics. A very easy trick to differentiate is that esters have only one eye. Cocaine and benzocaine are esters of benzoic acid. Tetracaine, procaine, chloroprocaine and also benzocaine are esters of para-aminobenzoic acid. When we look at their molecular structure, apart from the ester or amide group, both have three essential components. One, a lipophilic group. Two, a hydrophilic group. And in between, three, a linker group. The lipophilic group is a benzene ring and is the largest part of the LA molecule. The hydrophilic group is an amine and since it is located at the end, it is called the terminal amine. Because of this amino group, they can be called as amino esters or amino amides. They are formulated as hydrochloride salts which are water soluble at the time of injection. Let us refresh our organic chemistry a little bit to understand the molecular structure of esters and amides. Major classes of organic compounds are the hydrocarbons, that is hydrogen plus carbon. Their reactivities are due to the functional groups attached to them. Functional groups can consist of a single atom such as chlorine or a group of atoms such as CO2H. The most common functional groups are Alcohols, that is OH, carboxylic acids, that is CO2H, carbonyls, that is C double bond O, esters, CO2R, and amines, that is NH2. The functional group is important because it will help us find if the compound is an ester or amide or carbonyl, etc., and therefore its physical and chemical properties. All esters have a carbonyl carbon, C double bond O, and a hydrocarbon group which are linked in between by an oxygen atom. The hydrocarbon group can vary. This is the molecular structure of procaine with the carbonyl group, oxygen in between, and the hydrocarbon group. Many fruits and flowers give off their distinct scents due to naturally occurring esters which form in the plants. In animals, example, the ester acetylcholine is responsible for nerve stimuli. Without acetylcholine, animals will not be able to move their muscle or even breathe. Esters participate in hydrogen bonds as hydrogen bond acceptors, but cannot be donors since they have no hydrogen bonded to the oxygen. You can check this out in the above image. This ability to participate in hydrogen bonding gives them some water solubility, which is an important factor for producing local anesthetic effect. Amides and amines. This is the molecular structure of lignocaine. For an amine, the key atom is the central nitrogen atom. Compounds that have a nitrogen atom bonded to one side of the carbonyl group are classified as amides, you can see in the picture above. And those with nitrogen atom bonded to a hydrocarbon framework are classified as amines. This blue dotted rectangle in the image above. Amines are one of the smelliest families of organic molecules. 
because of the covalent bonding, A mites are more stable than esters and do not break at physiological pH and body temperature without an enzyme catalyst. So A mites bind to alpha-1 glycoproteins, that is AGP, in plasma and are then broken down by enzymes in the liver. AGP is an important plasma protein involved in the binding and transport of many drugs, especially basic or what we call positively charged drugs. In the normal body, the amount of AGP in plasma is relatively low. It increases in diseases like cancer, inflammatory disease or after trauma like burns or surgery. Let us now look at the metabolism of ester-linked LAs. They are hydrolyzed that is broken down by the enzyme pseudocholine esterase in the plasma. This particular pseudocholine esterase is a plasma choline esterase enzyme. It is called by different names. Depending on its location, it can be plasma choline esterase or serum choline esterase, etc. This enzyme is primarily produced in the liver and catalyzes the hydrolysis of choline ester drugs, especially succinylcholine and myvacurium. Both are short-acting muscle relaxants used during induction phase of general anesthesia, producing respiratory arrest for 2-3 to three minutes for skeletal muscle relaxation, tracheal intubation, etc. The proteolytic power of enzyme pseudocholine esterase is tightly regulated by the cells in our body under normal physiologic conditions. Pseudo means false, so this is a false choline esterase. True choline esterase is acetylcholine esterase occurring in high concentration in conducting tissues like the central and peripheral nervous system and neuromuscular junctions. Coming back to our LA molecule, we have learned what makes the drug an ester or amide. We have also learned the difference between amide and amine. Let us now learn a little bit more about the terminal amine. This is the structure of lignocaine with a nitrogen atom surrounded by the hydrocarbon framework forming the terminal amine. Amines can be primary, secondary or tertiary. Chemically written as RNH2 for primary, R2NH for secondary and R3N for tertiary depending on whether 1, 2 or 3 of the hydrogen atoms of NH3 have been replaced by R. R is the generic term used for any hydrocarbon side chain attached to the amine. The amine in a tertiary form that is with 3 bonds is uncharged and lipid soluble. Whereas, in a quaternary form that is with four bonds, that is NH4+, it is positively charged and water soluble. These two points are important when we learn about the mode of action of LA. Lipophilic group, linker group, hydrophilic group, Benzene ring, ester group, and amide. This is procaine. This is lignocaine. Here, both the terminal amines are tertiary, with the nitrogen atom directly bonded to three carbons. Esters produce less intense analgesia and last for a short duration since they are readily hydrolyzed in aqueous solutions. Whereas amides produce more intense analgesia and are long-lasting. Esters used more as topical on mucous membrane, amides for nerve block or infiltration. They can't be used in patients with poor liver function since their breakdown will also be poor, so their level in blood will not reduce, leading to toxicity. Esters are used in patients with cirrhosis of liver. Cirrhosis is from Greek word kiros, that is tawny color, that is a brownish color of the liver due to scarring and fibrosis after liver damage. Esters have a higher risk of causing allergic reaction or systemic toxicity.
while amides rarely cause allergic reaction, which is a major advantage of amides. In general, allergic reactions to local anesthetics are often due to additives such as metabisulfide or methylparaben. Adverse reactions to local anesthetics like vasovagal syncope or overdose toxicity are usually a reaction to the added adrenaline. Allergic reactions caused by ester type LA are due to PABA, which is a metabolic product. PABA is the chemical foundation for benzocaine, procaine, chloroprocaine, tetracaine, etc. An ester is just a chemical linkage and imparts no immunogenicity to a compound. That is the ability of a molecule or substance to provoke an immune response or allergic response. PABA is prepared industrially for use as sunscreen due to its UV absorbing properties and as local anesthetic agent. Allergy to PABA is in the form of contact dermatitis with itchy dry skin or a rash on swollen reddened skin. PABA is used orally for conditions like pemphigus, vitiligo, systemic lupus erythematosus, arthritis, rheumatic fevers, constipation, headaches, to darken grey hair, etc. Let us find why systemic toxicity to ester occurs. We have learned that hydrolysis of esters is by the enzyme pseudocholinesterase. An individual may have normal pseudocholinesterase, an atypical pseudocholinesterase, or a mixture of these two. About 1 in 3000 people have an atypical variety, which is a hereditary condition. No pseudocholinesterase can occur due to certain disease. Any of these three conditions slow the metabolic degradation of cholinester drugs. So LA stays in the blood for a longer time, causing toxicity. Succinylcholine and myvacurium ester drugs are used during induction phase of general anesthesia to produce respiratory arrest for 2 to 3 minutes. In patients with atypical pseudocholinesterase, this duration of apnea is prolonged. A personal or family history of an adverse drug reaction to one of these colon ester compounds like succinylcholine or myvacurium or ester group of LA is the only clue suggesting pseudocholine esterase deficiency, thus contraindicating its use. So history is important. Kidneys are the primary excretory organ for both esters and amides and their metabolites. A small amount of the original LA compound is excreted unchanged in the urine. Esters are excreted in lesser amounts and amides in greater amounts. Coca is a plant native to Andes in South America. Ancient Incas, a tribe of American Indians, cultivated coca for medicinal properties, sacred rites and rituals. They used it to combat altitude sickness and to relieve pain and hunger. When the Spanish invaded the Inca Empire, coca leaves were brought to Europe in large quantities. Cocaine was first isolated from an extract of coca leaves in 1859 by German chemist Albert Niemann. He noticed that the powdery white substance made his tongue feel numb. Twenty years later, Austrian ophthalmologist Karl Kohler started using cocaine as local anesthesia for painless cataract surgeries. His colleague Sigmund Freud, the Austrian neurologist, founder of psychoanalysis, experimented with cocaine on himself and many of his patients. Around the same time, physician R.J. Hall introduced it to dentistry. Hall persuaded his dentist friend to inject cocaine while restoring a sensitive upper incisor, and it was a success. Cocaine soon became widely used as local anesthetic in many types of surgeries. But the many undesirable properties of cocaine led scientists to find and develop safer and more effective local anesthetic alternatives. Cocaine on injection leads to locally protoplasmic poisoning and tissue necrosis. Generally, there is midriasis that is dilation of pupil, increase in 
One, body temperature. Two, BP leading to tachycardia. And three, increase in sugar levels to name a few. Procaine, used for block and infiltration. It is the first injectable LA to be synthesized. Procaine gets metabolized into two products. One, PABA, which is excreted unchanged in urine. And two, diethylamino alcohol, broken down further before excretion. PABA inhibits the bacteriostatic effect of sulfonamides. And since procaine breaks down to PABA, it shouldn't be used when patient is on sulfonamide drugs because then the antibiotic will be less effective. Chloroprocaine Is procaine modified by addition of chlorine? It is hydrolyzed in plasma within a few minutes and eliminated in less than 30 seconds. It is the least toxic ester LA. It is used to provide fast onset epidural anesthesia for emergent caesarean delivery. This is because large doses can be administered due to low potential for maternal and fetal toxicity. Tetracaine It is hydrolyzed 16 times slowly than chloroprocaine and so has the greatest potential toxicity. Next we have benzocaine, used for topical, has a prolonged duration of action. On the negative side, it can cause localized allergic reactions on prolonged or repeated use. It also inhibits antibacterial properties of sulfonamides. There is a cream called the BLT cream. It is the strongest numbing cream used by a dermatologist. It is a triple anesthetic cream which is a combination of 20% benzocaine, 6% lidocaine, and 4% tetracaine. Because of short duration of action, less intense analgesia, higher risk of hypersensitivity, ester LA are rarely used for infiltration and block, but still used as topical on mucous membranes in dentistry. Moving on to amides now. Lignocaine is the most popularly used drug, used for all bit, that is block, infiltration and topical. It was the first amide type of local anesthetic to be synthesized and was done by a Swedish chemist. It is frequently combined with adrenaline to prolong the duration of anesthesia, reduce associated bleeding, and increase the intensity of the nerve block. Prilocaine breaks down more rapidly than other amides, so it is the safest of all amides, but it is contraindicated in patients with idiopathic or congenital methemoglobinemia, anemia, or hypoxia, indicating cardiac or respiratory failure. Prilocaine should also be not used in patients taking acetaminophen or phenacetin since both cause formation of methemoglobin. In methemoglobin, the iron in the heme group is in the ferric state, while normally it is in the ferrous form. This is not good since methemoglobin cannot bind oxygen and cannot carry oxygen to tissues. Procainamide is hydrolyzed very slowly, 10% in a day. It is a sodium channel blocker of cardiac muscle cells used to treat abnormal heart rhythms by making the heart more resistant to abnormal activity. Bupivacaine injection is used to numb an area of the body during surgery procedures, childbirth or dental work. You can see in the image that it has a butyl group attached to the terminal amine. Advantages are that potency is 4 times more than lidocaine, toxicity is 4 times less than lidocaine, duration of soft tissue remaining numb is 5 to 8 hours approximately. So, 1. It can be used for lengthy dental procedures and 2. Also for post-operative pain control. Analgesic effect.
After resolution of numbness, patients report a period of analgesia varying from few minutes to several hours. So the first dose of analgesic intake can be delayed till the numbness disappears. This should not be used in small children because of the risk of post-operative self-inflicted injury. Another interesting amide is articaine. It differs from other agents of its group due to the presence of a thiophene ring instead of a benzene ring. Also, the thiophene ring contains a sulfur atom. You can take a look at the image. Articaine contains an ester side chain in the aromatic ring that makes the compound inactive after hydrolysis. It is classified as an amide because of the linkage between its lipid soluble ring and terminal amine. In dentistry, it is used mainly for infiltration injections. Before finishing, let us have a quick look at the major differences between esters and amide local anesthetics. Hydrolyzed in plasma, hydrolyzed in liver, less intense analgesia and short lasting. Here it is more intense and long lasting. Esters are used more as topical on mucous membranes. Amides for nerve block or infiltration. There is risk of allergic reactions in esters. Amides, there is no such risk. Excreted less in urine. Excreted more in urine. They can be used in patients with poor liver conditions. They can't be used when liver is bad. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and sharing and remember to press on the like button below and subscribe.